Okay, we are going. Um, thank you for joining me for episode two of the Runza Roulette. Um, I want to start by giving kind of the, the state of the union here in terms of my constitution. Um, I'm not feeling too hot. And I think that there is a direct correlation between me eating three Runzas yesterday and how I've been feeling today. Um, I think that there is more salt in one runza than can be found in the Dead Sea, um, let alone eating three of them. So um, having said that, this evening, we have three beautifully cooked runzas baked to perfection. Um, we have a side of corn and some water. Um, but before we jump in, the video's a little shorter um, this evening, as, as you can see. We're just gonna break down a, a different video. It's not a full game film. Uh, it's just a, a Nebraska football video that, you, that you'll see in a second. Um, but last night around 3 a.m., I woke up, and next to my bed, I had this cup of water. Right? You can see this, this fits about one and a half water bottles. So you can imagine the size. It's pretty big. There you go. It was full of water when I went to bed. I woke up 3 a.m. I had never been more thirsty in my entire life. I, I once ate uh, 14, 15 between 14 and 15 enchiladas um, in one sitting as a part of eating competition. I'm not, I'm not rookie to eating large quantities of food, right? I was more thirsty after these three runs than after those enchiladas. And I downed the entire cup of water at, at three in the morning and still needed a fire hose directly shot into my mouth. It was, it was bad. Um, we'll see how, how this first bite goes. It's, it's right out of the oven. Uh, 50 minutes, an extra little, extra, extra five minutes on the bake today. Okay. Good. All right. Um, so, we're going to jump into the Nebraska football team now. Um, so, the video that we're looking at today, share my screen, is... Every swing pass slash screen pass of the 2019 Nebraska football season. Um, Scott Fraud loves the swing slash screen pass. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, it never works, and we have 14 minutes of it, 15 minutes of it here. So we'll see Scott Fraud's offense. I'm sure that you know Matt Lubbock will come right in and clear all that up. Um, but let's let's get going. Also, I turned the volume off on this one because I don't want to hear Beth Mullins any more than I need to. Also, because it, it messed up the audio yesterday. And I apologize for the choppiness of the video, but, um, you know, you, you, can't, you can't do much about that when you're working with just a, uh, a 2015 MacBook Pro. So, um, here we go. So, here's Adrian Martinez, high snap, Cam Jurgens. I don't even know if that was necessarily a swing pass. It was more of just a quick hit to the tight end, which, which worked out well. Um, here's more your, your traditional swing pass with the, you know, the curving – route i think in order for it to be a swing you have to do the the curving route so um also i'm gonna have to eat these runs a little faster tonight with only 15 minutes on the video so um you know i'm not a, I'm not a math guy but that's about five minutes per per run so i also have to work the corn in there the corn's a nice change of pace but um here we go Swing pass from the four yard line. He's throwing it from the end zone. Again, that's not really a swing pass, but I guess it is a screen pass. I'm trying to tie in. That's a screen pass, see? I have a hard time when your first steps are up calling that a, a either, you know, a swing. Screen, maybe. Oh, you want a cold in the middle. I'm eating cold runs up. He's gonna be he's gonna be missed. I mean I mean, you know. He looks over to the screen, does not have it, realizes he does not have it, and then throws it over there anyways. Hmm. 
by the way, berries, the Nebraska bar. Support local in these trying times, you know. Berries, I feel bad for Plowboys, barbecue restaurant just opened up inside of Berries. Pretty good. I wouldn't call it great. They have decent barbecue. Uh, mac and cheese sucks ass, but that's okay. What do you expect? It's the, you know, the first floor of Berries. So support local. Guys are struggling. Um, Lazari's. If anyone from Lazari's is watching this, I highly suggest shipping frozen pizza. Um, I would I would order and uh, I don't order a ton of stuff for Nebraska. I might support some local vineyards, order some wine. Shout out to Junto. Was that stole with the block? Look at this. Hold on, let me run. Look at that block by Stoll. Jesus. Uh, if you would pardon me, I'm going to finish these runs off in the microwave. I mean, you know, I'm not eating these raw things. But I'll do it all now with the video going. You guys can watch this game. We're back. Notice that Ohio State highlights went pretty quick. So, I know that yesterday I said I was going to change the recipe on the corn. I didn't. Um, I did cook the corn. It's sweet. It has a, a unique enough flavor to it already. Um, I, uh, I what do you want me to do? You want to cream the corn? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and cream the corn. I'm just not gonna do it. I eat corn the way it is. You play it as it lies, and that's where we're at with the uh, the corn situation. Now, I doubt all of you stuck around for the entire video episode one yesterday. So I'll share my um, the brass sweet corn story. So uh, the summer of 2018, I actually lived in, in Lincoln, visited a, a farmer's market down in the Haymarket. If you live in Lincoln, you know what I'm talking about, Saturday mornings. Um, and I wanted to get something local. I'm a big support local guy, um, berries and plow boys. Um, but I wanted to get something local, Lazarus too, and organic. So I did. Um, I got some, some sweet corn. I got six years of it. And I brought it home, and I opened it. First, first ear, and there's just a big, fat, thick, green worm right in there. I said, you know what? I'm good throughout the rest of the ears, and, and that was that. So, um, okay, back to the video. Back to Juan Dale doing this. I'm, see, I'm surprised Nebraska got blown out as a flag. That's probably why I don't I remember this game. I was actually in Savannah, Georgia during this game, so I didn't get to watch it live. I haven't really watched the replay either, considering we lose 34-7. to So, didn't think there was much happening. Not necessary for me to, to watch the whole thing. Uh, but how are we going on, on time? These ones are so hot. Okay. Wow. Hot. Way drier. Really regretting the microwave decision. Like, really regretting it.
it's so dry. Okay. Um, if you're a Nebraska fan, you'll know who Mitch Sherman is. He put out a, a mailbag today. Very interesting, very good read. If you don't subscribe to The Athletic, I would highly suggest you do. Um, for those of you that don't know, Mitch Sherman's the, the beat writer for Nebraska football for The Athletic. Um, he put out the mailbag, and I asked a question. I asked if, he, if Nebraska football did not exist and he had to cover, we had to choose one other football program to cover, who would he pick? He picked Hawaii, interestingly enough. Um, guy's an Omaha native. Didn't want to stay in the Midwest, wanted to go out to Hawaii. Um, just kind of get away from everyone, enjoy. What do they have out there? They have uh, the, 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 the pig that you put in the, in the dirt. I'm not really sure what you call that. Um, but they do pineapples. They do seafood, um, luau. So, yeah, I mean, it sounds fun to live out there. Um, but Hawaii, I thought it was interesting. So Adrian Martinez had Heisman hope was a Heisman hope will be in the air. Eighth best out to win the Heisman. And here he is doing this. Is that Cade Warner lining up in the backfield for the sprint? I mean, I mean, look at that throw. It hit him in the foot. This thing's flaking on me. I don't know how to eat this anymore. And the bottom, the bottom's shorter than the top. I, I, I'm going upside down now. I'm holding it ripped on me. If I never had a run so before, I'd probably panic a little bit, but I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a pro at this. So I'm just going to finagle my way around it. Well, yeah. We're good. We're back to normal. How are we doing on time? Hmm. I'll have to pick this last one up. I think we will miss Conavai Noah's perimeter blocking. Not very, not a big playmaker. Um, not very fast, not very quick, not very strong, not a very good blocker, but he had heart, and that's really all you need to, to be a good blocker. So, look, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's probably a hold. Also, could be a defensive face mask, but look at that. He, I mean, he's, the guy's, the guy's 25 yards downfield. Now, one thing I do want to try is the spicy jack runs up. Um, pepper jack cheese, some jalapenos, and some bacon on the inside, as opposed to just plain runs up. They don't ship them. Um, any, any flavored runs up, salt is the original. Or any specialty, I guess they're all flavored. Any specialty runs up, they don't ship. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but um, that's just the way they do it. I know you can, you can make your own if you want it that way, but. You can't beat uh, the original Runza. Oh, why Missouri? Now, some people have been asking me what the tight end situation looks like this year, this upcoming year for Nebraska. I really am pretty high on Rutgers transfer Travis Vokalek. I also cannot believe I was ordered to not get in there. I mean, hold on one second. 
if you show, if I showed you this, how do I, I can, I can draw on this, can't I? I can annotate, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Annotate, draw, line. I mean, look at that. Look at that space. Also, notice one guy. Get my line back. One, two. Okay. I'm gonna put the Wisconsin. Nah, I'm not putting the Wisconsin guy in red. I'm putting the Wisconsin guy in green. One. And look who wins. I mean, that's just that is just pitiful. But you know, okay. We will clear all of that. Um, and we will go ahead and resume the video. I mean, Bo Wilson just looks absolutely lost out there. Now, what I was saying before that last fight of dry runs up, oh my God, so you're trying to, you, I'm trying to eat drywall, um, is that I'm really big on, on Rutgers transfer Travis Vocal, like he brings some athleticism to the tight end position, whereas Stoll's more about a blocker, not great straightaway speed, not great quickness. Also now it's just, you know, 6'8", or whatever it was. That's really his only appeal. Vokalak, I believe, is 6'5", if not 6'6", six, six, uh, but much more athletic than, than both of them. So a little versatility to the tight end position. We'll see how he turns out. Oh my God, I have a minute and 40. You're so on bread. Look at that meat to bread ratio. What the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, there was supposed to be a double pass. But why Missouri sucked absolute ass? Couldn't make it work. Uh, see, that's what, that's what Travis Vocal like will break the athleticism on the perimeter. Well, I'm not going to finish this. Hmm. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I don't know, guess you're just going to listen to me talk and eat the, the runza for the remainder. Um, stop, share. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm still recording. I have this much left. If that had been 1650 and I had two more minutes, I probably could have done it. Um, but I didn't have it.
Had this been day one, maybe? Um, so, thanks for tuning in. Um, I don't really have much more I want to talk about tonight, but I'm going to polish off this run, so. This is so stupid. My brain says two bites. I mean, there's no meat feeling on that. That is bread. My brain says two bites. My heart says one. Um, okay. All right, well, um, that's a wrap. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll be back here right tomorrow. Oh, my God. Back right here tomorrow. Um, three additional runzas. Um, some some corn as well. I, the corn's not gone. It doesn't really have to be. I'll polish that off over the, the next five minutes or so. But um, I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. So, so thanks for stopping by.